broom. So let's start with the phone call between President Moon Jae-in and US President Donald Trump. The two leaders had plenty to catch up on. Since they last spoke, North Korea has fired ICBMs and the UN Security Council has uh, just recently signed off on tough new sanctions against the regime for its provocations. Hwang Ojun starts us off. During their phone conversation, which lasted nearly an hour on Monday morning, Presidents Moon and Trump both acknowledged the need for a stringent state of security in the region due to Pyongyang's continual provocations and discussed how Seoul and Washington can cooperate to prevent the North's future threats. The two leaders reaffirmed that they will cooperate with one another and with the international community to apply the maximum pressure and sanctions for Pyongyang to make the right decision to give up its nuclear program. The phone call comes amid the unanimous decision by the UN Security Council, including China and Russia, adopting a resolution to impose the most punishing sanctions yet against North Korea last weekend. President Moon said he hopes this resolution will be an opportunity to bring about a change in North Korea's behavior. With the joint South Korea-U.S. military exercise slated to take place at the end of August, which may potentially lead to another provocation by the North, the two leaders vow to continue to work together to deter future threats. However, President Moon also re-emphasized that the ultimate goal for the pressure and sanctions based on the dominance of force is to bring North Korea back to the table for talks, and he underscored that another war on the peninsula is unacceptable. At the end of the phone call, President Moon once again invited the U.S. president to visit Korea, to which President Trump expressed his gratitude and said he looks forward to visiting Korea shortly. Hwang Woo-jun, Arirang News.